How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome back to the National Farm Machinery Show. We're here in Kentucky with Greg. How are you doing, buddy? Good, Good to see you, man. And he's going to tell us all about the new Coyote lineup here in 2020. So we're going to start off talking about the brand new CX2510. So Greg, tell us what you got in this brand new model here. Yeah, so at the National Farm Machinery Show this year, we're really excited to have three new prototype models. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about, this is the new CX2510, as Hank said. Uh, this is kind of a evolution of one of our existing models, the CK2510. The product features a quick attach uh, bucket on the front. Uh, it's got a 25 horsepower engine with a hydrostat transmission. And one of the things that's different about this tractor is that we've added the twin pedal hydrostat. Okay. We've also added a tilt steering wheel to make it a little easier to use for a wider variety of folks. Um, it's also got an independent PTO. So let me ask you a question. So when you switch these pedals, uh, what, what, drove, what drove the switch? Yeah, well, the, the rocker, it's hard to accommodate everybody's foot size. Sure, uh, sure. There. So and, the customer. Yeah, yeah it's really, yeah. That's, that's what you see with Coyote when we're developing new products. Right on, yeah. Every product we come out with is driven by um, feedback from customers and, and dealers. So not only a lot of new features in the, in the operator workstation, you got some stuff back here on the back as well. Yeah, we've got a Cat 1 three-point. Got about 1,200 powerful lift capacity. Uh, telescopic links. Okay. That's pretty neat to see the telescopic links on the back of a, a smaller freight right. tractor like that. Yeah. Now, now this is, you know, 24, 25 horsepower. Do you know what the horsepower in the PTO is? Yeah, it's right around 19 and a half, 20 horsepower the PTO. Oh, so you're really not losing that much from the engine horsepower to the PTO. It's, it's pretty efficient drive train. Yeah, I would say so. I just noticed these tires are look a little different, so yeah. what's the deal with them? Yeah, so these are some of the new uh, R14 tires. Uh, good year that we're seeing on a lot of uh, a lot of products out there, a lot of tractors are starting to use these, a lot of manufacturers. Uh, we're planning on offering these across several of the different series in our line. So this is actually a prototype that they have. So when 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 can customers expect this tractor? Yeah, yeah, so this, this tractor is going into production soon. Uh, it'll be available on dealer lots in late spring. Late spring. Yep. Okay. But it's not the only prototype you got, right? No, no. We're excited to have uh, three here at this uh, show. Okay. Well, let's go look at the other two. Okay. <laughs> so we got two more to talk about, and this is Gina's favorite, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Gina? Yeah, I need one of these. Yeah, so, all right. So tell, me, tell us a little bit more about this uh, prototype CS here. Yeah, so, so this is the new CS2220. We'll also make it in the 2520, the difference just being 22 versus 25 horsepower. Okay. Uh, one of the exciting things about this is it'll be using Coyote engines. Uh, we use Coyote engines in almost all of our equipment, with a couple of exceptions. But the new uh, CS20 series, um, it's going to be a premium subcompact. I can uh, talk a little bit about some of those premium features. You're going to have a really open um, steel operator platform. Sure. It's got the, the rubber floor mat. I see that, yeah. We've got the uh, drive over deck. Okay. Um, we've got the steel hood, uh, the integrated loader joystick valve, which is something that a lot of people I love a it. lot of people like. It's really clean design. Yeah. Uh, then you've also um, got the tilt steering wheel, okay. which makes it a little easier for yeah. a wider range of users. Um, one, one other thing to mention, it's got the the loader with the uh, twin cylinders on the front there, and it's also got a, a standard quick attach uh, for the bucket. Is the is the hydraulics for the front is that standard or is that an optional feature? Uh, the third function. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be an optional, optional okay. feature. Okay. But I like how Coyote has wrapped it in that protective metal around mm -hmm. the front, though. So that looks that that's nice for the protection. Right. So. Yeah, we also got the quick disconnect on the uh, on the loader. Um, it's really pretty easy. Simply pull this lever here, pull it up, do that on both sides. Then you make some adjustments on the bucket, drop the kickstands down sure. and you back away from it. Yeah. Disconnect the hydraulics. Now this is a really cool tractor that I'm excited about learning. Okay. Uh, learning about. I'm excited about learning about it. So, so tell us about the new CK10 prototype here. Yeah, so if you're familiar with Coyote, you probably know about our, our CK uh, yeah, series. Course. It's been very popular. Been a popular tractor for us for, for years now. And yeah, sure. Um, a couple of years ago, we introduced the CK3510, CK4010 SC cab. Um, so, hydrostat transmissions, uh, factory cab with heat and air. Um, we also introduced a tractor called the CK2610, which is about 25 horsepower, same chassis as the 35 and 40, uh, but we didn't have the factory cab until now. Uh, so, we've taken pretty much the same factory cab and put it on the CK2610, yeah. heat, air, uh, optional radio. 
Um, got a lot of really nice features, hydrostat transmission. So, we said a lot of customers have really, really liked that 26 uh, size and horsepower. Um, and now adding that factory cab is going to oh, open up some new yeah. possibilities. For so, them. let me ask you so, the other ones are, are is this going to come out about the same time frame as the other ones? Yeah, so, this one is on, on the same track as the CX. Okay. So, it'll be available uh, kind of mid, mid, mid to late spring. Mid to late spring. Just in time for the start getting hot, you need that's, an AC. That's the plan, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that we look at some of the tractors, something that I didn't personally know, I didn't know Coyote made zero turn mowers. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about the new mowers? Yeah, yeah, so we're excited to have our, our new line of zero turns at the show this year. Uh, this is something we've been working on for several years. One kind of important point is that we get asked a lot, who's making these for you? Okay. And you know, it's, it's exciting and I'm proud to say that you know, Coyote, uh, along with our, our parent company and some of our affiliates, we designed, engineered, manufactured, and test this unit all on our own. Right on. Uh, so we, we build it ourselves. Um, we use kind of our manufacturing expertise combined, combined with some uh, top shelf uh, industry components. So we're using Briggs and Kohler engines. Okay. We're using hydro gear transmissions. I got you. Um, a lot of the components uh, are manufactured in the U.S. Are the um, cup holders big enough? <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, that's yeah. the, the, the thing. Yeah, that's, it's important. that's a great question. I guess it's, it depends on how big your cup is. <laughs> I guess. But so I noticed you got a lot out here. So what's the differences between them? We started with 12 models. So okay. that's six residential focus models and six more commercial models. Right on. Uh, the difference that you're going to see, they all share the same chassis and the same decks. So we have a 10 gauge deck with a 7 gauge leading edge. Um, what you'll see, the differences between the two models, you're going to see different fuel capacity, have different seats, different levels of suspension. Okay. Transmissions are going to be different, little heavier duty transmissions in the commercial models. Yeah, yeah, of course. And also the engines are going to be more commercial focused engines. As we talk about the UTVs, I told Greg, I said, listen, dude, I said, this girl's got a really pretty smile over here. We want to talk to her. We don't want to talk to you anymore. So we got Emma. <laughs> and so actually, me and Emma were talking, and we're cousins. We had no idea. We're not cousins. Right? So, no, I'm just kidding. We're not cousins, but we're from the same hometown. So I had to come to Kentucky to meet you. That is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy. So, so Emma is the UTV expert, and she knows all about the new Coyote uh, lineup and the UTVs. So I'm actually going to turn it over to her. She's going to tell us a little bit about what Coyote's offering in the UTVs. Yeah, so we have two UTV series. We have our Mecron and our K9 series. Both are great options for anyone, but there's a little difference between both. So our Mecron series is a 22 horsepower diesel engine. Okay, diesel. And it goes up to 25 miles an hour. All right. And it is definitely a little more workhorse-like. Sure. So the cockpit is a little different where you have your gears kind of in the center of the dash, um, but it is very functional. Two-speed CVT. Okay. Uh, it has an all-metal bed, and it is actually four feet wide on the interior. Oh, good. So you can fit a pallet, sure. a yeah. belt. Sure. So it is definitely the workhorse. It's available in single and dual row. Oh, right. So you can get your crew around. Don't yeah. have to worry about not Take having enough seats. Around. Well, that's <laughs> fun part. <laughs> uh, and it has a lot of great options. So hydraulic dump bed, canopy. Uh, you can really shield. deck it out, right? You can deck it out how yeah. you want it to be decked out. Yeah. So yeah. I really appreciate it about this one. Yeah. And then our K9 series right behind me is a little different. Okay. It's a little more automotive feel. Okay. So it is a 24 horsepower diesel engine. Cool. And it has, you can see kind of the automotive dash behind the steering wheel, tilt okay. steering. Right. Has the really comfortable bucket seats. And All just right. has a few more comfort features. Sure, sure. And this is, is also available in single and dual row. Okay. It has similar options. Uh, canopy kit, the hydraulic dump bed, and the windshield. But one of the great things about this is that bed comes standard with a spray and bed liner oh, and good. inside bed tie down books. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. So that is really awesome. Yeah, that's a, that's a. We were you know we were talking earlier about some of the things that the customers wanted from Coyote, yeah. and y'all made changes in some of your new prototypes. Yes. And so as you know, those are the little things that the customer demands or come, customers like. You know what? I'd like to have tie downs in the bed of my UTV. And so Coyote listens and puts that into full force there, and it's pretty yeah, awesome. We yeah. definitely want to listen, and that's why we have some, you know, evolutions of our product. Yeah. Um, along with those tie downs, we also have that truck style tailgate, oh, the center yeah, yeah. handle, yeah, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. 
So, and then both um, also can be decked out with some really cool tires. So <laughs> yeah. We have four different tire options. Yeah. Well, and you're really not driving a, a, an off-road vehicle until you, yeah. you put a lift kit on it and put some chrome rims on it. I was about to say, we got those <laughs> aluminum rims, which are beautiful. Shine those up Who's real the, nice. Why don't guys do that? You know what I mean? You're going to get, I don't know. Anyway, that's a different, different subject for <laughs> different a different day. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but anyway. but So, these are super, super nice. Now, are both of these at the dealer right now? They are. These are both available. Okay. So, I'm with Tom. Tom's a salesman here, the territorial guy, uh, territorial guy. But the thing about this video so far is they have so much here. They have so much to talk about. And so we've gotten kind of the experts on some of the different the prototypes and the turf care and the UTV. So now we're going to talk about their existing lineup. And the cool thing about Tom here, Tom has got the voice of the master DJ. Right? <laughs> so, no so, so tell us about the top 10 countdown. <laughs> you, you left the uh, face of radio out. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah. So yeah. Tom, take it away. Tell us about uh, some of the some of the things that Coyote's doing and, and, and the pre or the pre existing lineup. Right. As I was mentioning before, Coyote currently goes from 22 engine horsepower to 110 horsepower. All right on. Yeah. And that's about five or six different. Uh, series of models. Okay. Uh, we're standing here beside the CS series, which is our subcompact. Okay. That's available in 22 and 25 engine horsepower. And the great thing about this tractor is hydrostat only, so it's uh, pretty much the, the beginning point for a new tractor owner. A guy that has one or three acres. Okay. You know, this would be perfect. Yeah. But the, the other part of it is it, it can be configured in a lot of different ways. You can configure it tractor and mid mount mower, okay. tractor loader, tractor loader, mid mount mower. And then even tractor loader backhoe right. and, and a motor. A lot of options. So wow. you can have all those attachments on one tractor. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and meet all your needs. So we're moving on up, but and this is the CK3510, which I've actually done a video on, and I leave a card up here in this corner here. But Tom, this 3510, that's a popular model for you guys, right? Right. It's been our most popular horsepower model for years. Okay. Uh, we're seeing uh, in, in this size chassis, we offer a 24 and a half engine horsepower. 35 horsepower and 40 engine oh, horsepower. Oh, right. gotcha. Uh, this is a base model. It's available gear and hydrostat. Sure. Uh, this is the, the tractor that helps somebody get started once you get above the CS series. So okay. Compact. So again, you have tractor loader, tractor loader backhoe. We currently don't have a mid-mount mower, right. but that should be introduced possibly later this year. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, that's going to be a great option for that chassis. Also in the, the CK10 series, we offer an SE model. Okay. Uh, which you, you saw the prototype in the cab on the 2610, but we currently offer the 35 and the 40 in, in, in a cab hydrostat, and then also a 35 and 40 gear, full synchronized. And the difference being this is a, a live PTO model versus yeah. Uh, yeah, of independent course. PTO. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Tilt steering on the SE where you have just standard gear yeah, yeah. and a few other features. Sure. Uh, no, this is a super nice tractor to, to get uh, to get started on, you know, for somebody that's got a small hobby farm or something like that. So, I mean, we looked at everything from lawnmowers, UTVs, subcompacts, to 110 horsepower tractors, you know. And so I've, I've got the really, really cool honor of talking to, to Tim, who is their national sales guy. And this guy's got a 40-pound brain when it comes <laughs> to coyotes, right? So Tim, tell us about just tell us about where coyotes at, where they're going, and what do you what do you see in the in the industry? Yeah, so uh, you know the the compact market for tractors is uh, growing like crazy of course, still, yeah, yeah. and it's um, it's kind of hard to imagine that we keep seeing the continued growth of mm -hmm. the car. Um, but there's a lot of different factors I think that that, that help in that. Uh, you know, people want to be out, be a part of the land, and they yeah. enjoy getting out there and doing some work. Sure. And, um, so. Uh, it's kind of a lifestyle choice, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, well, the thing, the thing I'm sorry to interrupt, but the thing okay. I've noticed about Coyote is literally they have something from everybody from the weekend dude that's going to cut his front yard to the guy that works every day on the week in the in the hay field. Yeah, true. And um, you know, so really the compact market, I think, largely started off being being more of kind of a hobby farmer, yeah, sundowner kind of thing. But definitely seeing that customer base. Yeah. explode a little bit sure. and so we want to be more versatile yeah, yeah. Um, with our product line it's really what we've concentrated on for the last couple of years so yeah. we've, we've filled in a lot of gaps with with product based on dealer requests that yeah, they're yeah. of course hearing from their customers of course and uh, so we've been able to, to do a really nice job I think with that and that that then goes along with 
the customers and the dealers both have seen the quality of our product. They like how it operates and feels. Yeah. And really, uh, they wanted to have different product to take care of different needs. You know, moving forward, um, you know, our core product is tractors. It always has been. That's mm -hmm. kind of where we started. And that's still where we want to concentrate our yeah, efforts. But at the same time, that, that expansion of products is good for both our dealers and the customers. So I'm actually in a Coyote's owner group on Facebook. Okay. And I'm telling you, this, the customer satisfaction rate in that group is at, it's off the charts. It's yeah. insane. Everybody loves their Coyote tractor. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, you'll get the ones and twos, the one, onesie or twosie sure. that, that complain about, you know, if it was made of gold, it, right, right, it right. would not be that, right. right you know? yeah. But I'm telling you, it's really impressive to see how happy Coyote customers are with their tractors. Yeah, we're really proud of that fact. And we have a super loyal group. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, are, I'd are, say you do, yeah. They're diehard customers. Yeah customers yeah. for us and, and uh, that's a result I think of, of really two things the product and the dealer yeah yeah and uh, that's a good point you know I, I I hear that kind of stuff from end users you know it's uh it's it's as much about the dealer and the support that they can I, provide of course is the product and both of those have to work together yeah, because yeah. a bad product and a good dealer doesn't help yeah. a good product and a bad dealer doesn't that's help right. so you yeah. got to have both but yeah. Hey, listen, he's a very busy man, so I'm not going to take up much more of your time, but thanks right. a lot for, for uh, catering to us, I guess you'd say. And uh, as always, there's going to be this little white circle that's going to pop up over my head over here. You click on that, you'll go to our subscribe page. Underneath that's another video from the Farm Show. We'd love for you to go watch that. Thanks again for your time. Thanks. We appreciate it. Bye. Appreciate it. Yeah.